Universidad Politécnica Metropolitana de Hidalgo. Licenciatura en Comercio Internacional y Aduanas. Base de datos. Hi, we are going to talk about formulas. When we need to make calculus, we need to work with formulas. In Excel, formulas start with the equal sign and the most simple way to create a formula is by writing an operand, then an operator, then an operand. So we can have some formulas like this. Five times six with literal values. A1 minus A3 with references. Subtotal plus IVA with defined names. Hola concatenated with Ketal. Also for literal values. So, Operands can be literal values, numbers or text, references to cells or ranges, or defined names. For numbers, we can use next operators. The operator plus for addition, minus for subtraction, times for multiplication, divided by for division, and parentheses for grouping and precedence operations. And for text, we have the ampersand, which means concatenate. Now, let's do a practice. In the example, we have exportations for 2018, and 29, and we need to calculate by sectors, and we need to calculate how much exports we did in 2018 and 2019. Also, we are going to calculate the difference between each year by sector, and how each sector increase their exportations between those years. So first, let's get the exportations by sector for 2018. We can copy the format by clicking a cell, then click in the copy format button. Then we have to select the cell that we are going to apply the format. Then we need to write the formula in order to get the exportations for all the year. We can do it by this way. We have to write the signed number, then the reference to the first cell for the first sector for the first period. It is C5. For the second period, it is D5. And the next are E5 and F5. Now we can copy the formula for other sectors. In this case we are going to copy the formula working with the autofill cursor. We can do it that because the cells before are filled. So we have to select the cell, then click in the cell using the autofill cursor, like this. It looks like a plus sign. We have to make double click and it will be copied. And that's it. Now, for 2019, we are going to apply the same First, we have to write the formula. It would be equal to G 
g5 plus h5 plus i5 plus j5. Then we select the cell and click the autofilling button. And we got it done. And we can see reference to the right cells. For instance, this one, this one, or this one. Now, we will need to calculate the difference between 2018 and 2019. For doing that, we are going to create the defined name. We can make it as export 2018 and export 2019. Now, the difference would be export for 2019 minus expo export for 2018. Then we got it. And now we can call it as difference. In order to calculate how much this sector increased from 2018 to 2019, we are going to divide the difference by 2018. So let's do it. We just need to calculate the difference between 2018. Now, let's give it a, a format in order to get a better look. For instance, we can add some borders. Select ranges then we can apply borders and the last one now as you can see this is a percent so the best is to see it as a percent by that we can set it here and choose percentage the difference also should be shown as pesos for that we can click on the accounting number format or choose it from the list Now, let's do something else. Let's mark with red all the cells that didn't have an increase. So, it should, it should be represented by negative values. In this case, we need to select the range. Then, we go to conditional formatting and the most easy way is to manage rules. Then we have to add a new rule and choose format only cells that contain a cell value 
less than zero. And we have to set the format that we want to apply. In this case, we are going to change just the background, but currently we can set different options. Let's choose red as fill and white as font color. And that's all. This is a preview. Then click in OK and apply. By this way, we can see all the negative values are in red. Now, let's set in green all the sectors that increased their exportations by 15% or more. We need to add a new rule, format only cells that contain cell value greater than or equal to 0.15. Set the format color white, fill green, OK, OK, and apply. By this way, we are able to see that fabricación de insumos textiles, fabricación de prendas de vestir, industria del papel e industria del plástico y hule were sectors that didn't increase their exportations. On the other hand, industria química, fabricación de productos a base de minerales no metálicos, industrias metálicas básicas, fabricación de equipo de transporte, and other sectors, increased more than 15%. Working with formulas, let us to change some values if we need to do it, and all the calculus will be done automatically. For instance, if we got a bad number for the last period of industria alimentaria, we can make the correction like this. And the amount for 2018, 2019, the difference and the increase were calculated automatically. And also it got in green because it increased more than 15%. Now let's get a challenge. In this case, we can see only these cells in red. But what if we want all the line? For instance, like this. So the background color should be gotten as red or green based on the increase column. You can get this done just by using conditional formatting. And you have to choose the right way to make the rule. So let's get it done. If you get this challenge done, I may can help you on your grading.